Lil Den is a New York based musician who draws inspiration from a diverse range of artists, including Nirvana, Maniskin, The Score, and Japan Veneta. And he's joining us just now. How are you today? Doing well, man. How are you? I'm brilliant, thank you. So that's quite a diverse mix of influences yeah. there. How would you say they all come together and influence your music? Well, yeah, so the Nirvana part, you know, it's like hard rock and stuff yeah so like and then i take like the man of skin type of thing and i like kind of morph them together and then it's like a mix between like hard rock and like you know like jazzy rock or something it's like i converge them together and maybe yeah. that, that's my music so what was your background and how you actually got into making music originally yeah so my friend in eighth grade which is actually japan veneto that's him he's my friend so he made music and then like he taught me how to like do like mixing and like vocals and all that type of stuff so like i kind of like followed in his footsteps and started making my own and would you say the music that you two made was quite similar or did you kind of go on different paths yeah we actually we went on different paths yeah he made more like soundcloud like rap type of music i went like more rock type of music more rocky so and do you think you could work together at some point in the future maybe do a song together or have you gone so far on your separate paths the styles maybe wouldn't gel oh no we have before we've made a few songs together right he's like done some of my type of music i've on some of his we've like converged on both and made made it work pretty well so when you're writing music what kind of things inspire you when it comes to the lyrics i like take lyrics like from the bands like i i like and i like kind of like use what they write about and i kind of like make it in my own way and put it into my music and is there something that you would hope the listener would take away from your music yeah just to like i mean i hope they take away like what like some sort of like emotion or feeling like when they listen you know want them to feel something when they listen to my music and is there any particular emotion that you'd want them to feel or does it vary depending on the song maybe even depending on the listener yeah it varies on listener on the song each song like it's different for each song you know so whatever the song is about i want them to like you know feel or something yeah and how varied do the emotions get i mean could you have a really happy uplifting song and then a song that's going to make you feel sad or do do they tend to be similar emotions? Most of them are similar, but I try to like, I'm trying to change it up a little more. You know, most of them are like, like sad type of songs, you know? Yeah. Like sad, sad songs mostly. Most like rock songs. That's what I usually make. And you're from New York City, which is somewhere yeah. that's got a rich musical history behind it. So has growing up there influenced your music at all? Oh yeah, definitely. I met a lot of cool people from around the area and it's helped me a lot with my music. And do you think that, you know, if you were from somewhere else that maybe didn't have as much of a musical history, your music would sound different perhaps i mean i suppose what i'm getting at is is your style a typical new york genre i mean not necessarily i mean my genre is more like i don't know it's not like typical new york not necessarily no but it's definitely helped me with things throughout my music career and when you're writing is there a particular creative process that you follow not necessarily it's depending on the beat i use whatever the beat whatever in my mind i think the beat like what i should say to the beat i like say that you know like what emotion it is I like take what I from there do you record everything at home or is it done in a studio or because I guess you can do all sorts from your laptop these days yeah. I just do, yeah, I usually just do it from my laptop. I have a mic, you know, I just do it by my house, yeah. And is it kind of a professional setup, maybe something that would sound pretty much the same as if it was recorded in the studio? Or does it kind of have a maybe lo-fi sound and people would be able to tell that it's homemade? Yeah. No, it, it sounds like it's from a studio, I would have to say, because I have a pretty decent mic. I put, like, good effects on my vocals. I get guys to, like, help me out with that type of stuff. So overall, it sounds pretty close to what a studio, normal studio would sound like. So you've had a lot of singles so far. Yeah. Which song would you say you're the most proud of? Yeah, I would have to say probably my single Not All There. I really like that song, so definitely that one. Yeah. And if somebody isn't familiar with you, what song would you recommend they listen to first to get an idea of who you are? Would it be that one or maybe a different one? It would probably be that one, but it could be some of my own songs that I have. It's going to be my new EP coming out Friday. So, well, yeah. what can you tell us about this EP? 
So it's like it's similar to what some of my old songs, but like two or three of them are pretty different compared to what my old other songs were. I have a feature on it. So yeah. Yeah. I decided for it. And is this the first time you've had an EP or an album or songs together? I mean, have you just released singles on their own before? Well, I, I had like an album a while ago. I didn't really like it. I'm, I might <laughs> that, to be honest, but yeah, this is like my first big EP, you know? Yeah, it's exciting. And are you hoping that this will be the first of many? Yes, yes. Same. Yeah. So what else is coming up after this EP then? Have you got any things planned or are you just focusing on this for now? I'm focusing on the EP, of course, and I'm probably going to have some more singles coming out after that. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, where are we able to find all your music and find this EP when it comes out on Friday? Well, it's going to be on YouTube. I'm looking to get it on Spotify, though, and SoundCloud, maybe. So it's mostly on YouTube, though, that's where it's going to start. Excellent. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great to have you on. Yes, you too, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.